Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, Europe. This is LRB Fashion 360. I am your host, Amina Tomasali. That's of course. And we are at the Tubo Road Junction today to be precise. And we are here to interview Nigeria's like, top fashion designer. Well, she happens to be our lucky winner for the competition we hosted here in Liberia. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. Let's welcome in our students to see what she's up to this morning. Now, guys, come up with me. This is LRB Fashion 360 and today I am here with a beautiful mistress, Bridges. And she happens to be our beautiful winner for like viewers next top fashion designer. And yeah, she's gonna be with us in Ghana and she's gonna be showcasing her design, her acts. Yeah, this is something that you don't want to miss. So welcome to the show, Miss Royce. Thank you. How are you? I'm okay. How is the salad and going? It's good. I know, okay. But when we came here we saw you doing some craft or whatever you do. So what was that? I was making earrings out of cotton. Oh wow, that's that's beautiful. So apart from um, making your own sketches and you know your own design and stuff like that, you actually make uh, accessories as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's beautiful. And um, you you happen to be very young, and I I also know that you're a student as well. Yes. Okay. So how do you blend? Oh, uh, I go to school in the morning and then the afternoon. So, so do you do you have time for for like all your school work, like studies, assignments, and tests and stuff like that? Yes, I do that like in the night. And you should have like a busy schedule. Yeah, it's it's so so impressive and amazing to see a young beautiful lady like your age and like, the size one of you like, involved into the stuff like this because most young girls like our age now I would say. You find them maybe after school to go out chilling with your friends and then you know, but your your kind of um, um daily routine is quite different. Like do you really hang out? Yes. Like this? <laughs> yes. Oh wow. <laughs> now I would like you to introduce yourself formally and then we can start. Hello, my name is Joy Riches. I am a designer and my brand is called Jubilee. Oh, that's a beautiful one. So Jubilee, Jubilee, Jubilee brand. So um I want to know how did it all start to like when did you all like when did you realize that um um this is what you wanted to do? It all started in high school when I started doing arts and crafts. Okay. A class, so we started painting and then then they started doing a whole lot of things and I realized that I actually like art. So I started pursuing art. First. Oh so did you did you actually realize um, Jackie, yeah, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like, Somewhere else. Right. Is. I know. Because I'm sorry to say, you had it fine. You, you had it fine. I mean, with most of the school here, you're like, you were doing arts and what have you. Craft. Yeah, arts and craft. So I was like, kind of shocked. I'm like, okay. So I think now I get where, where you get that, you know, that passion for. So when you realize that this is what you wanted to do, and then you decided to do it. So how was it like for you? And how was it, uh, you know, how was your family taking it? Because most of the parents will be like, maybe after high school, mm -hmm. they want you to pursue maybe law or to be a doctor or an engineer or something. But you told your parents that this is what you wanted to do. How was their, their, their approach of it? I think their approach was good because my mom is an art teacher. Oh. So it was easier to tell them that I want to pursue art to be honest. And then I started pursuing it. Very touching. So, so how do you go about getting your, you know, your cloth and your materials and stuff by putting these things together. How do you go about getting it? Is it your mom who does it for you or you have someone who do it all yourself? Go to the market and get what you want. Oh, I go to the market, I go to the wall side, and get what I want, decide, and come back and then ask for advice. And and your mom. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to know if your mom, is she also like a designer as well? No, she do art, craft work. Oh, okay. So basically, yeah, the lady, the lady, the <laughs> uh, I'm sure she'd be proud of you because at a, at a young age and this is what you find yourself in. It's very amazing. So I wanted to know, uh, your 
first, your first design, like your first clothes that you saw yourself sewing, how was it like? It was hard because it was hard to take my measurement. I did my own clothes. It was like a skirt and a brown. Oh, okay. Okay. And then it was too tight, but I figured out how to sew it. Oh, okay. Oh, so you actually got uh, uh, to so on, on YouTube, YouTube as well. <laughs> yeah. Wow, guys. I bought my first one machine for my birthday and just like okay so the first work that you did was for yourself like the first mm -hmm. outfit was and when you did it, it was like too tight mm -hmm. so you kind of losing it and then do it dig. oh wow <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing how difficult that that was but like i want to know how many hours did you spend on you know making one like outfit like maybe a dress or a skirt or something so right now i'm still learning how to sew so i was with Oh, okay. By designing them, wait, and so it takes like two days, three days. Oh, okay. So you do your own sketches? Yes. So you create your own design? Yes. Well, that's very beautiful. You hardly find designers doing that. Most of them just go behind the machine and get into the style. Someone like, oh, I want so they dress me. You get it? <laughs> so you hardly see them use a, a piece of, of a paper or a book or something, um, and maybe a, a pencil or something, and making their own sketches. That's, that's a very beautiful one. It's very difficult for you to find a designer here like this like that um, yeah even though we have good designers but you know to bring out the ideas your own idea be, be that creative it's kind of difficult but that's a plus to you so uh, I also want you to find out that um, after you did your first work and you're like okay so how was you know the approach of other people like your friends your neighbors and other people like what was the approach? I think the hardest part was like the family members because I, they wanted me to go into a business aspect and do the craft as a hobby. And you decided that's what you want to do as a yeah. career. So, so, so right now, is that is that what you are learning in university? No, right now I'm doing business marketing. Managing work right now. Mm -hmm. So, I was asking, um, when you did your first work, like you said, you did a skirt for yourself, and it was kind of like losing it, and then yeah. you did it over, and uh, you wore it as a hobby. I did wore it. Yes. Okay. So, my question is. How was the approach from maybe your first oh like body skin wow and you know stuff like that would you for you? Oh wait my house and oh, so you... I didn't go outside. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> oh why why didn't you like send it outside you know to showcase it like I'm well, scared at first. Okay, so so you didn't just so well. <laughs> I just okay, so uh, and after that you started doing more and more and more and I, I even know that you have a, a your your your, your Instagram page mm -hmm. where you post most of the stuff. I follow you and I saw some great stuff. And I even noticed that you do um, how you call it um, like the already yeah the already made stuff and you design you add your own stuff into it. So how 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 why did you decide you know to blend? Yeah. I decided because when I came, I was doing painting. I realized that most people are only doing African form. So I thought about it and I can add my own twist to it. I think that was making me make it. Yeah. It's a relatively good piece. Like, I actually see what you're doing now, like what you're wearing. And she's actually repping her. Saying, this is beautiful. Like, it's really beautiful. I wish I could, I could sketch. I mean, because I love fashion. Like, I love dressing. So, if I could sketch like you, I mean, I would be wearing one of the best of everything. I'm like, <laughs> but that's that's okay. And when I went on your Instagram page, I saw a lot of great artwork that you did. I saw a lot of stuff that you did. And um, I was so impressed. So, I'm like, how can this young lady, beautiful and you know, outstanding as her at her age, um, be so creative and stuff like that? So my question was, um, or my question is, when are you planning, you know, to to showcase? Yes. I think it'll be in December. This coming December. Yes. Okay. So I'm guessing you. You're actually working hard to get a lot of people together. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's very beautiful. Um, I, I will be there. Uh, LRB Fashion TV says people are going to be there to cover the entire thing. Uh, so, um, I wanted to know when you do this TV's work, and you, do you actually sell them? I sell few, but I have to like know the price because not everybody is like art. Uh, talking, talking about, about knowing the price and stuff like that. Um, do 
do you do you actually uh, um, gain from what you own, like in, in, in terms of income? Income of what you do me? For the painting? Yeah, like for your work, your entire work, like you sold your garment and going to sell it out there, like maybe your capital and what, what you put into it and how much you get into it. Like, how is it like? Is it okay or, you know, you just doing it because that's what you love doing? Right now, I'm just doing it because I love but I I have good revenue, but it's not that high. So who are your clients like? The clients are like teenagers, and young adults, and a little bit of a mini adult. So do you also do men? I'm trying now, but now I'm doing t-shirts. Okay. So how much uh, um how much does a t-shirt go out for? It's fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars t-shirt. Yes. So. You yourself buy the t-shirt yes. and do the artwork and then sell it. Yeah, that's that's good. That's that's very beautiful. And I see a lot of artwork going on here in the studio. That's why I call her her studio because she's not only sewing or doing crap. You see a lot of you know paintings all around the place. So it's a studio. Our camera was going around and we saw some you know um, craftsware around. Were you the one who did those stuff? Yes. Very beautiful. Like you actually get uh, um the materials like uh, the plywood and you call it the plywood and you actually cut them no. yourself. <laughs> so I else cut it and they had design. Okay, but you do the sketch it and then give it to the person, the person cut it and you do the design. That's yes. beautiful. So basically you do most of the hard work and then you got people doing the labor stuff like that. That's beautiful. Well, um you know that you are our winner for the like you uh, make stuff fashion designer yeah that's the first year and uh you will be live in ghana at the national theater how do you feel about that i feel great it's still <laughs> unbelievable but i'm getting used to it no you said it's unbelievable why don't you trust yourself like i do trust myself but when it's something that's in like you a lot of different creative creative Designer, designer. Yeah. So for you, for you to see yourself on that platform as a winner, that's a plus for you. So okay, now we are going for the big event, like the biggest event ever. I'm sure that's the biggest event ever since yes. you started this year. Oh, yes. Yeah. So how do you feel about your house? There, there's excitement. Are you kind of like scared or you know? I feel like I'm excited. I'm not scared. Yeah, I feel like I'm bringing something different. Okay. Yeah. Something different. Something different. Because you're going to meet a lot, a lot of good like bad fashion designer from around the world so and i'm going to, i'm talking about elderly people like people who has been in the industry like for years you know decades and they're going to be showing like masterpiece and you were just uh, maybe like a little you know girl trying to come out into the whole thing so i mean you know that kind of fear don't you kind of have that kind of fear you know i feel like as long as i know my work is good and okay. i have fun yeah, I'm excited to bring it out. Yeah, confident. That's very important to have confidence. Like that. So the kind of work that you carry into Ghana, is it basically going to be like, well, um, let me put it this way. Because we all know my well, used to be slim. Mm -hmm. right? So do you also sew stuff? Or are you going to sew stuff? Or just in case when we have like a plus size model, that it may be wear your, your design or your outfit like a t-shirt. So do you also have stuff like that in still for the kind of models that we have like categories of models like plus size models like slain models like skinny models we have all those kind of stuff for everybody because actually that platform you're going on is a platform that um it's a lifetime platform this is where everyone is going to see you like Ghanaians are going to see you like viewers are going to see you Zeroes are going to see you americans are going to see you some people will be like i want to buy stuff from you i, I love what you do um maybe my mom i said she should love what you do so can she get stuff like her, her size, but my mom is a plus size. So can she get stuff from your your uh, Yes. Okay. So that's that's a plus. And then you said earlier when you said for the men, you are trying to work on it. Men, I don't know why mostly oh uh, you, you find ladies sewing when they lay stuff and then men sewing women and stuff. But I think it's high time we get versatile and blend the two. So just in case just in case that um maybe you have a competition for both male and female, you know. I think that's what we should do, but it's a plus to you that at least you're trying to do stuff like that. And um, that's good. That's a, that's, a, that's a very good step. So, I also want to know, like, where do you see yourself in the next five years? With your whole clothing line and everything. I see, I see myself, like, having a foundation, like, you know, where a lot of people are buying them. 
It's all going to be You've already started that journey? Yes. Because you're going to go and you should give the first time yeah. you is what you have. So I think your five years have already started for you. So let me just say four and a half years. Yeah. That's a good one. But yeah, um, um, to wrap up way, because it's just a Saturday, I know you're kind of busy and we kind of have to leave you into your stuff and everything because you're kind of preparing. We just have like a week, week to go to Ghana, oh, a week yeah. plus, yes, yeah, so to go to Ghana. So we don't want to take all of your time today. So I would just like to get like a final word from you about your and maybe to young girls or young people out there who are watching this broadcast now your final word okay so the real collection is all about showing you the journey of how i started jubilee and also to inspire young designers and entrepreneurs in like you that you can be unique you can you can be yourself and also for what you believe and push forward. Okay. Well, guys, you've heard it here on the LID Fashion 360. Um, it's our beautiful Joyce Regis, and uh, she's going to be with us in Ghana on the 3rd of March 2018 to showcase her clothing line. This is a platform that you don't want to miss. This is a show that you just an event that you don't want to miss. So, if you are in Ghana, try to get your ticket and be out the national theater. I will be there with that wrong way because you know how I do my thing. So from my end on this beautiful Saturday morning, we're gonna say shout out and then we'll see you next time on the same channel.